So as you can see, uh, this is a September prophetic word, and the Lord is saying it's a month of sustained blessing. Hallelujah, sustained blessing. I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can, um, because he wanted me to do this here. Um, and where I live, there's this park. It's a, I'm actually in what's called the Japanese garden, and really this is a time the Lord's saying that like the garden, he's going to sustain his children. Hallelujah. And he wanted me to come here to show you a vision of that and to remember. I'm going to show you really quickly. You can see that, right? And just like the water, you know, flows continually to sustain the waterfall. That's how the Lord's saying it's going to be for you. Hallelujah. This month and moving forward, we know uh, it's the new year, the head of the new year coming up, September 7th, uh, you know, 5782. And the Lord just you know wanted me to mention that to remember that as a part of what he's doing that he always honors his time frame hallelujah and he was just saying with that actually yesterday i went to the store let me just go here i went to the store and i saw this yesterday i actually went to big lot and i never saw this type of tissue before right and it was a tissue called jubilee if you can believe it the, the tissue brand was called jubilee and I've mentioned it in a couple words ago, the number 50, he was showing me a lot. And he said, he said to me when I, you know, he wanted me to mention that because he said, just like in the past seasons, right, we remember, you know, sadly with the pandemic and everything, when it first started, how people were, you know, going out and rushing and trying to get like tissue paper, things like that, right? And the Lord's saying that in this season that you're not going to, just like that, that, that tissue paper said Jubilee, hallelujah. You're not going to have to do that. He's going to sustain his children in these seasons that are coming ahead. Hallelujah. And why he, you know, he said this is a month, again, of sustained blessings. He said it's, it's, it comes with um, a condition in a sense. Hallelujah, right? So God, we know God loves his children and, and that in our obedience, right? We know obedience is better than sacrifice. And the Lord was just saying with that, that sustained blessing, with sustained blessings, right comes comes with sustained obedience hallelujah so if you've been obedient and you continue to obey him right just like you will have that sustained blessing that he's promising to his children hallelujah and just like how he wanted me to come here and i was like lord okay and it's 30 minutes away and all these things you know that could have gotten in the way and he was like you know he wanted me to do it today and i could have not obeyed him today but just like in other things i obey and the Lord is saying just like that and, and whatever he's telling you to do, there's a reason and a purpose and he wants to show you some things to encourage you, to sustain you, to remind you of his love for you. Hallelujah. And it, it's related to the Deuteronomy 28 promises, right? That if you obey him, that you will receive from his hand. You will receive not just his hand, but his heart. And to stay in the secret place, that sustained blessing come by your sustained you know safety in the secret place according to psalm 91 hallelujah right and he's saying no longer because he knows that the enemy you know there have been giants in the land and the enemy has tried to make some of you uh leave the promised land that god has given you or think that oh i shouldn't go there in that area that territory and the lord's saying that you will stand and he showed me as i was driving here that the battle is already won hallelujah the battle is already won and he's preserved your position right and your voice he said, he, he just showed this to me as I was walking up here. I had to climb down and then to get here where the water is. But he's saying that, you know, that your voice at the table is reserved. Hallelujah. And that your voice at the table is needed. So whatever he's asking you to do, to continue to do it and to continue to listen to him as you stay in the secret place. Hallelujah. But these sustained blessings, he's saying, again, it's things that the enemy stolen and things generation that you thought would not occur right and and for some of the uh, you a lot of you it's you know for instance land because what c comes with land freedom right the ability to obey the lord and do what he says to build how he says right to teach um and to grow and to teach your children the ways of the lord hallelujah right so with land comes stability right not just economic but emotional like you have a place that is yours and for the generations after you so he's saying no longer will you be a slave to the world system. That's a part of his promises for a lot of you in this season. Hallelujah. 
So he's just saying, again, with sustained blessing, it comes by sustained obedience as well. Not that, you know, if you mess up or anything like that. God loves all his children. Hallelujah. But he's just saying, no longer will the enemy trample on you. Hallelujah. No longer will he make you run from what you're destined to. And, and what you, you've been preserved for, for the living God. Hallelujah. Because he wants to use you. He wants to use your children. Right? And he wants you to have the inheritance he's promised to you so long ago. We know that he sacrificed for us on the cross for our salvation, yes. But for also that we may see heaven on earth. Right? We may live these things out even as the world is shaking. Hallelujah. And that we are part of the building of that. Hallelujah. Right? And so with that, he was um, also showing me and reminding me right of being like mary and martha right and we know that again some of you are busy you're doing other things you're worrying directing the lord's like rest with me right this is the time also he said as a reminder to some of you need to be off social media not completely but just take a rest right right and as a remember reminder <clears throat> not every prophetic word is for you right but this is something that the Lord is prompting the faithful ones, his children that have been walking with him. And if you wish to come into alignment with him, those blessings, those promises are also yours, right? But if you continue to just consume prophetic words and not rest in the Lord, not be in the secret place, you're going to be confused. So he wants you to be focused because none of these should be confusing to you if you know which ones are for you and you should know because you've been spending time in the secret place you're getting your confirmation by the word of god by prayer fasting when needed right all of these things and that you're not just getting it because the word sounds amazing and good but that you know beyond a shadow of doubt like this is what the lord is saying to you because again you've been in the secret place so he's also saying this is a time to focus right so for some of you yes you need to you know, maybe uh, you, you literally had well, a couple days a week, you're not touching the phone, you're not, I don't even mean being on YouTube or social media, but just not being on your phone so much and just to rest, to take time with him, hallelujah. This is a great time of reflection, of renewal, right? And to hear him so that you know, as you step into this new season, the head of the year coming, what you should be doing and he doesn't want you to go and step into this new year with anxiety right if you don't um have you know the full clarity yet because he will give it to you hallelujah because then nothing sh should you rush right you shouldn't rush anything he will give us clarity a peace a calm that comes over you when you know hallelujah and again he will confirm it by his word by his voice right M my sheep know my voice hallelujah and he's saying, just like Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for the good of them that love him, right? That love the Lord. He's saying, you love him. He knows you love him as his children, right? You are royalty, right? A royal priesthood, a holy nation. Do not forget that. Hallelujah. And if you're first just now coming into relationship with the Lord, he welcomes you, beloved. He wants all to come to salvation, to know him. Right? Not just to receive the blessing, but the greatest blessing is to know the Lord, to have that relationship with Him. Because, I, like I always say, if you've been watching me for any amount of time, like that everything comes from that. The relationship, everything flows from the living God. Holy, just like this water, right? And so, we're just saying to stay in that place with Him as this month begin, of already begun and this new year, Holy 5782, right? And that the sustained blessing, right? Something that's sustained means it's something that's supporting it, right? And the Lord saying He's supporting you. He's He's the one that is doing this, that your your place is preserved and the battle is already won. Hallelujah, right? And so Father, we just thank you for this word. We thank you for your anointing, your love, your encouragement, your push to get up, Lord, to continue to go. We bind any distracting spirit, Lord. We bind the marine spirit that you've asked. Whatever you use in creation, that the devil cannot use it for his tactics. So we bind every marine spirit that's trying to utilize and block and hinder your children's blessings in the name of Jesus. That's trying to delay them. No more delay for the living God in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, Father, for the step forward, for the push forward into our promised land that you've already taken down the giants. Hallelujah. And now with our mouth, we confess that you are the living God. You are El Shaddai. You are almighty God. And that we are children of the Most High. And we receive your inheritance. We receive the blessings you've given us. And your word to stand on in the name of Jesus. And by your blood, 
where they are sealed. We thank you for the provision, the direction, the overflow, the continuous overflow that you're giving your church, your children, as you cleaned out the church, as you continue to do so. Hallelujah, that the pure, the righteous, the just, not by our own strength, but by your might, by your power, by your Holy Spirit, this shall be done, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, that in this hour that you sustain your children, no matter what comes, Lord, that you already have us in your cocoon, in the arm, in your arms, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So God bless you guys. It's really just what he wanted me to share. I'm trying to hold this while I'm doing this in my Bible. And he just wanted me to remember to read the Beatitudes as well, right? To remember, right? That blessed are those, right? Those a lot of you sometimes, you, and I've said it before, you despise the day of small beginnings. The Lord's like, do not despise the day of small beginnings, right? Right. Blessed are those who are meek in spirit and in heart. Right. Meet, read uh, Matthew chapter five, verse one to ten. Right. That's part of this uh, word. And the Lord's just saying, remember that no matter where you started, it's not where you ended, and that's not where you are in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. And that's part of what he's doing. Remember, where you start, I'm saying it again, where you start is not where you're going to end. Your story does not end here, says the living God. Hallelujah. Right? And then he preserved you for a reason, for a season, and for a time now. Hallelujah. In this hour, right? In this hour, despite what is happening in the world, because you are the salt and the light of the world, and you will speak what the Lord says to speak. You will do what the Lord says to do because you love him hallelujah and as you stay strong in your your relationship with him you will have the will to do what he asks you to do and to go where he asks you to go right to help those he asks you to help hallelujah all right hallelujah so god bless you guys that's it for this word i just wanted to um bless you encourage you the lord wanted to do that and um just you know i, I had this on my head i'm just making a note in case someone needs this confirmation the lord told me to cover my head and um, actually, I had this black like wrap thingy, and I was like, "All right, Lord, I'll wear that." And He actually showed me, "Oh, well, there's other ways you can do that." So He just had me go out and get this little hat here. So you might see more of my videos with you know me and hats, things like that. But just to cover my head, something He's been uh, speaking to me for a little while. So just being more obedient in many ways, right? Not just one or several, just total, total obedience and submission to the Lord. Hallelujah! So God bless you guys. Just another quick view of remember. You know the sustained blessing that the lord is giving and, and with that comes sustained obedience by your obedience hallelujah and when i was coming down here they had a waterfall before that wasn't on but it was on when i came and it was beautiful and just uh you know i wish i could show you guys that one but this would be long because i have to take you all the way up there but it was beautiful shooting all the way up into the air and i think that's what's sustaining this one this waterfall here and so just, just you know, the Lord's saying to keep the vision in front of you, the promises he's given you, and just to be obedient, beloved, that you're right here at the precipice of some major breakthroughs, just like the last two words that I gave recently. Hallelujah. So God bless you guys. I love you. Thank you for all your support, your prayers as well. Continue to pray for everyone in the ministry and just, you know, your families, your, your communities as well. And know that the living God loves you above and beyond all else. Hallelujah. God bless you. I'll see you soon. Shalom.